William Collins, born on September 8, 1788 in Croydon, Surrey, London, United Kingdom, was an English painter known for his contributions to the Romanticism movement. William Collins was a painter who perfected the art of landscape and genre painting during the Romantic era. His paintings were known for their intricate details, vibrant colors, and realistic portrayal of landscapes and everyday life. He was highly valued for his work, being even more popular than his contemporaries J. M. W. Turner or John Constable in the late 19th century. Though not much is known about Collins's personal life, he had a circle of friends and colleagues with whom he interacted, and whose artistic styles he may have influenced. His painting school is also unknown. Born in London in 1788, William Collins showed a great aptitude for art from an early age. He was an informal pupil of George Morland and attended the Royal Academy Schools from 1807, exhibiting at the Academy for the first time in the same year. In 1809, he was awarded a medal in the Life School. Collins quickly emerged as one of the most successful and popular artists of his time after selling his work, The Young Pfeiffer, in 1811 for 80 guineas. His famous painting, The Sale of the Pet Lamb, was sold for 140 guineas and was responsible for his fame. Collins continued creating art and had valuable patrons like Sir Robert Peel, Sir George Beaumont, and Lord Liverpool. In 1820, Collins was elected as a royal academician and he presented the young anglers as his diploma picture. Collins married Harriet Geddes in 1822, who was the sister of the portrait painter Margaret Sarah Carpenter. Throughout the years, he painted a lot of beautiful landscapes and portraits, which was the reason his art was very popular among the people of England and Scotland. In fact, his popularity was so high that he traveled to the Netherlands and Belgium in 1828. Unfortunately, Collins' health prevented him from remaining in Italy, where he had lived for two years painting Italian life. He returned to England and continued producing beautiful works like Poor Travelers at the door of the Capuchin Convent near Vico, Bay of Naples and Rustic Civility. In the latter half of his career, Collins continued to explore his passion for painting. Despite his failing health, he remained involved in art until his eventual death in 1847. His later paintings were often of beautiful coastal scenes and he had a keen interest in capturing the beauty and essence of everyday life. Some of his famous works include Beach Scene, Beach, Boys Sailing a Toy Boat, and Young Anglers. His works were widely influential and admired by many people. Although he has passed away, Collins' legacy remains and his contribution to the art world is not forgotten. In conclusion, William Collins was an exceptional painter during the Romantic era widely known for his elaborate landscapes and genre paintings. His ability to portray everyday life realistically, using vibrant colors and intricate details, made him highly valued in the art world, even more popular than his contemporaries Turner and Constable in the late 19th century. Although we know little about his personal life and painting school, Collins was an informal student of George Morland and attended the Royal Academy schools. His success began with the sale of the young Pfeiffer in 1811 for 80 guineas and was further established with his well-known painting, The Sale of the Pet Lamb, which sold for 140 guineas. Despite health challenges that forced him to leave Italy, Collins continued creating art until his death in 1847, leaving behind a timeless legacy and inspiring many with his passion for capturing the essence of everyday life in his paintings.